Hi, welcome to another session from Pro Tools Expert. We had an email in at the podcast that said, could I show how Tom York gets some of the sounds on his album? There's a piano part at the start, which is really interesting. And of course, for copyright reasons, I can't play the actual real part. So I've put the, the piano part in already in MIDI and I've opened up Expand. And I have uh, an instance of upright piano from Group 10 Acoustic Pianos. Done a little bit of tweaking here, pulled the bad strings down a bit and pulled the harder attack up a bit there. So that's the settings I've ended up with. Um, and it says not so beautifully maintained upright piano. If you listen to the actual track, you can go and listen to it on Spotify or iTunes or anywhere you like. You might even have the album. Then there's this uh, sort of noise coming through in the background. And the way you can achieve that is you open up Air Lo-Fi, which is a, a sadly underused plugin, but very cool in times. And you open it up to the factory default setting. And you pull the bit depth down to about 5.5 bit and leave everything else as is. Uh, and you put a little bit of clipping in, uh, no noise and no rectify, but a tiny bit of clipping in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass it, take the bypass back off now. The thing is, it's not on all the times. So the next thing you want to do is you want to open up the expander gate, just the simple gate, and then just set this with a with a, a quite a, a quite a low release. Uh, high release time, uh, low, low attack, and quite a, quite a me medium hold. And lo and behold, there you are. And if you adjust the bit depth, you can, you can adjust the tonality of that distortion. But about 5.5 seems to be about the right sound. And there we are. That's how you get that odd piano sound that's at the start and through the trap by Tom York from Radiohead. Very short one today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.